Hi world, Chetty Dad One coming at you. Got a good one for you today. TSA rolls out detention pods that trap passengers inside. Pods have been brought in to replace roles previously fulfilled by TSA security guards. The pods temporarily detain passengers before the doors f open up along them to allowing them to proceed. Excuse me. So basically uh, you got to go through this pod. Not content with the tight security in place that many of the nation's airports and the TSA is now funding the rollout of exit pods at major airport terminals across the country. The pods temporarily detain passengers before they're allowed to leave. Passengers are forced through the pods as well or as as the le they leave the airport terminal before a robotic voice gives instructions to wait inside the pod until the green light is shown and the door opens. There's a video with it. I'm not going to play it. I'll leave a link to this. Beam me up. These new exit pods have been put in place for passengers to pass through as they leave baggage claims at Syracuse Airport. And it's not in just Syracuse airports, it's all over the place. These things are popping up. Passengers enter pods and have to wait on a green light before they can be released. So there's no more going to be running to catch your plane. Oh my goodness, look at this. Uh, the instruction of pods means that there is no need for the presence of TSA security guards or police any longer and will save the government agency money. Once travelers exit the pods, they are unable to re-enter the terminal. The pods have already been installed at Syracuse International Airport as part of a $60 million renovation. Okay? So there you go. How you like that? It's nice, huh? And who knows what you're going to be scanned with? I mean, that you'll probably be doing X-rays and the whole nine, the whole naked body scanner thingy, and you know, and you'll probably receive the full feel up and pat down as well inside okay now these are some of the other things that I've been able to find on some of these things I mean it's not like they have security already top notch but the shooting the other day at the airport justified this whole thing Totally justified it. Totally. You know? And there ain't no getting... There ain't no coming back from this, people. This is here to stay. They've sent, spent this much money on them. They're not going away. These things are here to stay. So, you better get used to them. And you better get used to more security, more rights and freedoms being taken away. Personally, I say boycott the airline industries. Start flying, hiring people that fly their own personal planes. Start chartering your own plane, your own jet, your own whatever. Get your pilot's license. For goodness sakes, don't let them do this. You know, don't let this happen. But there's so many that will continue. And I mean, look at this. I mean, we've already got 
unbelievable, unrealistic things going on that we've got to contend with. And it makes me sick to see this happen in the United States or Great Britain or anywhere in the world. It makes me sick. Basically, they could put you in these things. They could gas you if they wanted to. If they find out you're a fugitive, I'm sure that there's a button in there they can push and they could fill that chamber up with cyanide gas. And you're not never walking out. That's just my personal opinion of that. I have no proof of that. But I guarantee you that it can be done. Let's see. Here's another one. Uh... This might be the same one. It is. Um, there's several. I want you to listen to this from True News. Um, listen to the reaction that people give. On the way out of Syracuse Airport Terminal, the new exits get some strange looks. Um, this one guy thought they looked like a science fiction intergalactic time machine as he passed through on his way out. I was expecting to get transported somewhere like on Star Trek. I was like, yeah, we finally got there. Others were wondering if it was an x-ray chamber or might fill up with dollar bills like on a game show. Yay, we can win some money. It was odd. It was like, where did they come up with this? A robotic voice gives instructions to enter the portal and wait for the door to close behind you. A few seconds later, the outer door opens. The new exits are part of the airport's 60 million dollar renovations okay just for doors just for some doors and that was the YouTube video they probably I don't know if they've taken it down or what but um, I'll leave links to these articles for you below um, but yeah we're you know we we're facing some serious, serious, more and more tyrannical control. More and more. This one ain't hardly worth mentioning much. Well, it is, but you know what I mean. But there's so much more. I, I'm doing a whole thing on... Uh, the TSA and DSH and and a lot of this stuff that uh, you'll be seeing me coming out with here soon. But yeah, welcome to 1984 with a kick. 1984 on steroids. I hope everyone's well. I hope you're having a great day. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns. Never surrender. Speak out for what you believe in. Say what you need to say. Speak the truth. And do good when you can. Be the best person that you can be. Never give up your guns. Never surrender. Prepare and buy all the ammo and stuff you can now, while you can. And don't never let them drag you down. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Over and out.